Hey guys, um, my name is Patricia. Um, you can check me out through all of my different groups. You can follow me on Instagram or Pinterest or wherever you choose to. Um, today what I did was I wanted to do some brush strokes. Um, I found a lot of groups. People were asking about how to create the brush strokes. Well, I wanted to show you guys how I designed the brush strokes. I created the brush strokes in Photoshop. Now I'm aware that, um, there are a lot of, um, people that do not have Photoshop. So I wanted to create this so that I can show you guys how to do it in silhouette. And you still can do the same thing in silhouette that is done in Photoshop. Um, what I did was I created my brush, my brushes myself in Photoshop, which are here. These are three um, brush patterns that I did in Photoshop. And all I did was saved it. Um, I saved it as a PNG and then I brought it into, um, I brought it into a silhouette. And so what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to trace it. Now, I don't advise this unless you're paying for it, but there are places that you can actually purchase the solid, uh, brush strokes. Um, you definitely have to look at their commercial license to see what it says. Um, whether you can create something with it or whatever, I won't get into that, but definitely read, uh, those things. I don't suggest going to, um, the website, Google or anything like that, unless you are paying for it and you have read, actually read, uh, what you can do and what you cannot do because copyright is a big issue now. Um, I pulled this up. As you can see, there is a lot of different, um, brush strokes and different things like that. Um, that's up to you. What you use, you know, how you use it. You just have to be cautious of what you, but for me, um, what I'm trying to do is basically show you that you can purchase brush strokes, which I definitely will be selling in the near future future um you can purchase the brush strokes you can purchase um patterns from me you can purchase different things from me um and some of the patterns i made myself others i did not but i can't recall where they came from um this one was 24 karat i think but i can't recall where it came from what I will do is once the video is finished, I will do a search to see what patterns came from where so that if you guys decide that you want the same thing, you can go in and purchase it from those particular people um, or those particular businesses. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead on and get started. So I'm going to decrease the size on here and I'm going to show you from start to finish how I did this. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to trace my, my pad, my, um, my design, which is my brush strokes. So I'm going to go to trace, select trace. And I'm going to trace it and I'm just going to click trace. Then I'm just going to remove this to the side. And what I want to do is release the compound path. And the reason I'm releasing the compound path, as you can see, um, there are different strokes and different white pieces in here. I want that, that same effect. So that's why I'm doing that. So what I did was I released the compound path so that it can release all of these objects and they are all separate. So I'm going to go back to it. I'm going to make a compound path and I'm going to color it just so you guys can see. I'm just going to color it black. And I'm going to do the same thing for all three before I start on them. I'm going to do the same thing for this one. And I'm going to make a compound path. Change the color to black. Do the same thing for this one. Make a compound path. Change everything to black. And then I'll start working with the first one. So I'm going to just place these on the side and I'm going to start working with um, this particular brush stroke. So for this, for this particular brush strokes, if I'm going to make six different patterns, what I need to do is I need to duplicate this six times. Duplicate, 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 
duplicate. One, two, three, four, five, and there is six. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of line them up. Um, some people will flip it, flip one, like they would do one and then flip the next one um, vertically. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do all of them the same way they are. Like some people will actually uh, flip it. Um, for this, I didn't think I would like the way that it looks, so I didn't flip it. I just kept it um, the way that it was. You can also flip it horizontal. That's completely up to you. Um, like I said, I didn't do that because I wanted to keep it the way that it was. So I'm going to flip it back. Flip it back. And so now it's, it's the way that I want it. And so the first pattern that I have here is that um, lumberjack. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go to our pattern. I've already loaded all of my patterns that I'll be using. I've already loaded it into my um, fill pattern. So all I'm going to do now is just go and see if I can find that particular pattern that I was actually working with. And I'm also going to show you a cool um, trick that most people, people probably do not know or they probably don't utilize. Um, this is the actual pattern. I can scale, I can, um, scale that pattern. As you can see, you can, um, scale it. You can angle it to however you want to. If you want to make it straight or however you want to angle it, that's entirely up to you. You can also scale that pattern. As you can see here, I scaled it, but I don't want it that big. I want it to be a little bit smaller. So I changed it. One other thing that you definitely want to pay attention to is you want to pay attention. Now, my outline is black. Um, it depends on what you're putting your, um, putting, putting it on. As you can see here, I just put a basic, a gray, gray pattern here. So I left the outside black for this part, but some of the other ones you won't be at, you won't, you don't want to leave it black. It just basically depends on what, um, what color shirt or what color, color item or background that you're placing it. If I was placing this on something that had a white background, I would definitely go to my line style color and I would put that line style color as white. And the reason I would do that so that it looks like it's blending into um, whatever I'm placing it on. If I was placing it on a, a, a turquoise uh, shirt, I would make sure that I was putting it, I would go and do a color, um, a color just uh what is it called a color copy or whatever and make sure that my line style is the same color as that that shirt that is going up against and now that's just me um you you can choose to do it however you want to but that's just how i do things to make sure everything pretty much blends together and so now we're going to go to the next one and um i may not do them exactly alike but you guys, you, just so that you can get a better understanding of how uh, these are actually done. So that one may be the same. And so what I'm going to do for the line style on this one, I'm just going to pull a color. I'm going to pull the color out of there. And so, and I don't really like how that looks up against it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, go back in. I'm going to see if I can find another um, red color to kind of blend or match match that. Try this. And of course, you don't have to go with glitter. That's, you know, that's entirely up to you. Um, you don't have to, you don't have to necessarily go with what you see me doing. You don't have to do that. You definitely don't. And so, and especially if you want, um, you want different things to stand out, like here, you can go up or down with your, um, like I showed you with your, um, scale, you can definitely do that. So I think I'm, I'm just going to keep, um, I think I'm going to keep this color. I'm going to bring it down, bring it up just a little bit. And so the next one we want to go with, and I don't have to go with that um, pattern that's shown here. 
I can do something different. Um, I actually can do something a little bit different. Like here we have um, polka dots. Or if I didn't want to do polka dots and I wanted to do something like this. And of course, I typically, um, this picture, it looks kind of foggy, but if you would go down on it, then you have a better, it has a better look to it. And so I'm going to grab another one. I don't, I don't want that one. I'm going to grab another one just so I can kind of show you. For instance, I can do this one. And so I want to scale it a little bit more. And as you see, the more you scale it, then the, the, um, it looks more blurry. And that's the way that whomever the pattern whoever um created the patterns um that's basically how you know their patterns are um again that's basically how however you choose to do it is up to you i'm gonna change the line style color i'm gonna go with white nope i'll go back to black and so this one i want to change it to gold do is I'm going to go in and I'm going to find the gold, the gold that I want to use. And of course you can angle it however you choose to. Like here I, I can scale it a little bit better or I can go and look for um, something else that I might, I might like better. I think I kind of like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scale it just a little bit. And so I like that a little bit better. And so now we're going to go with this one. And so we're going to try to find that pattern, that particular pattern. I think that's my pattern because um, I did create um, some plaid. So that pattern, um, I believe, is mine. So we're just going to look. Because I have several different ones that I created. That isn't it. Because it's blurry. Maybe here it is. Okay. There it is. And it's the same thing. If you want to scale it, you can scale it. That's entirely up to you. I think I like it like this. And then the next one we're going to go with. Um, we have like a. A red here we have a gold here and so um this one we're gonna see what we're gonna do with it see if we can find maybe a glitter maybe a gold glitter or something and so that's a gold glitter but this one may be a little bit better. We're going to go through them just to see. And actually, I think I kind of like that. So I'm going to use, I'm going to use that one instead because I think I kind of like that. Um, you can scale that. You can scale it a little bit. And so, of course, I've scaled it. And so, um, again, you want to make sure whatever you put it up against, you want to make sure that um, it looks nice. And I'll show you what I mean by that. When I place a background in the back, which we'll just kind of use this as a shirt, kind of let this look like a shirt. And here's the difference. If I put it in black because the outline is already black, then it kind of, it looks really nice. But if I change that color and I go with the color white, you can see it doesn't look bad, but you can see that the outlines are black. And so what I typically do is on some of them, it just depends on where it actually shows. What I do is I'll go in and I'll change that color to white. And so I don't know if you can actually see the difference. You can actually see the difference, but it, it actually made a difference here. Um, if you don't change it to white and you go with a, another color it still doesn't look bad so um that's basically up to you how you choose to do it um this is how you can do your first stroke 
So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change that color and I'm going to put it to that silver and put it darker. And so of course you can quite naturally see on that darker color, I don't like the way that it looks with that white. So I'm going to put the line style back to black. And so there's the difference. Now you see the difference. And so I'm going to group these together. And you can put your words going across, whatever words you want to put, you can put it going across. Um, for these, is is basically, um, of course, is done in silhouette. But if you are someone that does sublimation, it's more for um, printing cut and sublimation. Um, it's not for vinyl because um, these are basically PNGs. So, of course you can't cut the patterns you couldn't cut the patterns you're basically printing and then doing a cut around these items or and your words whatever your words are and then placing it on your shirt or if you're sublimating then you can do the same thing um of course sublimation does use a silhouette you can use your silhouette machine with your sublimation um printer whatever printer you're using you definitely can still use your silhouette with that printer um, so we're going to take these and we're going to move them on the side. Um, and these are done the same way. They're basically the same. They're basically done the same exact way. Um, if you want to do something like this and it may be a, a wedding or, or, or something. Um, here we have uh, the rose gold. And for the line, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in. And I'm just going to grab one of the colors. And so as you can see, it made a difference. And so I'm going to duplicate it. Actually, I was supposed to duplicate it before six times. And I'm just going to do five, four for this one. And so now we have rose gold. And so uh, we can go back in and we can find different patterns that has rose gold or you can um, place it with some type of um, other type of print. So I'm going to see if I can find something, a print that will kind of um, blend with it. Let's see if I can find something that doesn't go together. And then this is this is also this is like a um, glitter. That's a glitter pattern. It, it's similar to the rose gold or what have you. And that's silver. And what I'm trying to do is find a pattern that would, would kind of match it. And some of them you have to just, I think that will go. Some of them you have to click on them just to see exactly what they are. And so we have that pattern. So now we're going to take another, um, do a different, a different pattern here. So we're going to go in and we're going to look for a different pattern. But we want it in that rose gold, um, to look rose gold like. And as you can see here, and if you scale it, you can see nicer grains so it has a different a different grain pattern to it and then here you can just do something a little bit simple um we're going to go back to it to our patterns and we're going to find something else so all you want to do is get a, um, a great combination and so I went with this one I'd rather some type of print I'd rather some type of print though let's see 
I don't think that looks bad at all. So we're just going to change the, the outline on it. And so I don't think that looks bad at all, but um, you can actually spread it out to make it look a little bit bigger. And then you can group them together. You can place something in the background. Um, this might be for a wedding and you can put um, the name of whatever the the couple is or what have you and this might be sort of some of their patterns for whatever um here what i'm going to do is i'm going to ungroup it because it is a black pattern in the background i'm going to actually put it black and as you can see i'm sure you saw how it changed and i'm gonna go back just so you can get a glimpse of it where it was white here and we're putting it on a black background when I change it to black, you can see how everything just falls in line and it looks nicer. So um, that's one. That's another one. I'll put that one here. And I hope this helps you guys. If it does, please give it a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe. Those subscribers mean a lot to me. So please don't forget to subscribe. Um, this one we're going to go a little Christmassy and we're just going to do three because this all pretty much works the same. And so I'm going to see if I can flip this one vertically and see what happens. See if it gives it a, a cooler look. And so for this one, we're going to go with, let's find a pattern that we can go with and make it look more Christmassy, um, maybe for it. For children or something. This was another one that I had gotten. I got from, um, can't remember the name, but I will put it underneath um, my video. I can't remember the name of where I purchased it, but I definitely will put it underneath to give them credit because I did. This isn't something that I created. That's the stores. Let's see if we can find something else. And of course, like I said, you can scale it. And so we want to, I don't like the way the outline is. So what we're going to do is for the line text, we'll choose the color that's here. And so I outlined it with that color. And now we can change it and we can pull up something that's in these in this color and something that's kind of Christmassy. And we're going to see what we can find. I think that kind of looks nice. And I'm just going to pull one of the colors out that it has. So we have this one, and then now we have um, this one. I don't like the way that it looks, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it vertically again and horizontally. And I, I don't think I like how that looks either. Let me see if I can find something that maybe has um, some type of snowflakes or something. That might be nicer, more kid-like. I mean, I have so many different um, patterns. Okay, I kind of like this. Okay, I kind of like that. And so for this one, we can actually go with... Um, with the Tarzan or something. I think I might like that. Actually, what we're going to do is we're going to go back and we're going to grab those stars. Let's go back and grab those stars. I think it was 
steps here. Hmm, I kind of like that. Instead. Let's see if we can switch it around. Nope, I don't like that. We're going to put it back. And so all we're going to do is just change the color on the line style. We're going to change it to white. And so I think um, this will be okay. And of course you would do more than three. You would actually do more than three. Um, you can actually do more than three. That's, that's entirely up to you. I opened it back so I can see if I can change the angle to make it look nicer. I think I like that angle. And so we're going to go with that angle. And so now I'm just going to put something in the background. Um, I hope this video has helped you guys because I've seen so many questions being asked. How do you do the brush strokes? How do you do the brush, brush strokes? And some people wouldn't really say. Um, I know a lot of people don't have Photoshop. But I'm hoping this video has helped you guys, can help you guys, and I'm sorry I'm so late and I'm very, very close to Christmas, but I definitely hope that this helps you guys and gives you a better um, understanding. If you are in my groups, I'm going to actually um, give these brush strokes to you guys um, for free so that you can practice again. I will be giving them to you, but you can only use my brush strokes on your items added to something else. You cannot sell, you cannot redistribute, you cannot claim them as your own, you cannot um, share them, you cannot share them with anyone else, you cannot share them outside the group, um, outside of any of my groups. Please, 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 if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask um that's what i'm here for and i'm hoping that this video has helped you guys um again the patterns i'm going to do a search on it to see where i purchased them from and wherever i purchased them from i will place it under my video so that i can give um those particular uh places credit because it is their designs um thank you so much again and have a great night or day